There's the old HP 5L from almost 20 years ago, I think. And we've got the dreaded jam here in the fuser unit, which makes an accordion here. So I've taken some screws off here and got the cover off. And then there's this little whoop de doo here that you use to take the two screws that are down here that hold the fuser unit. can't get the fuser out with this piece in place so you undo, you swing this over these little goober things and then you can pull out the fuser, see the there's a fix I think on these on the web it's an old printer that I hardly ever use this thing. Normally I use thick paper. That's a trick if it hasn't had the retrofit, is you can use 24 pound paper, even thicker paper. It's almost impossible to get this thing out of here without taking the fuser unit apart. And there's the jam. Sometimes you can pull it out with the needle and lowest pliers. Now, that's not the best of video. There's another guy's got one on the internet showing how to do this. I was just doing this here and uh, I was going to do this instead of junking it because I got to print one little thing out on a printer. It's so old, it's, it's just ridiculous. I'm going to probably fire this thing up with all this plastic stuff off just for kicks. Now to get this back in, there's two screws down in here. That's the reason you have a magnetic screwdriver to get that, put the fuser unit back on. That's the 5L. We bought this thing for 400 and something bucks back in 1997 the Sam's Club I think it's got the original cartridge on because this is used on a computer that really does almost zero printing okay I just sent something to the printer we we'll stick this sheet in here then to fake it off I'm going to go through and lift up the interrupt here so I'm running this right now out of the case. I think it's going to jam because the uh, piece around the fuser in there was all goofed up. So I didn't want to put this whole thing together. So what's happened is the fuser roller down in here, there's a foil piece on it. It looked all screwed up when I put it back in there. So it's getting down to here and jamming so I need to go either junk this or go ahead and get a new new fuser piece in here so what's happened is this has been uh, pulled out several several times with the jam and finally it, I screwed it up or whatever the proper way to do this is take it all apart but what happens when you end up pulling it on here you end up goofing it up and that's been done over the years many times and this last time it looks like that was it anyways here that when you send something to this you just got the unit sitting here by itself it's not going to turn on until you go through and lift up this interrupt here like that you make sure you don't get your fingers caught in any gears or anything but But it will print, on a printer like this, it will print out without the cover on. You gotta make sure you get the paper fed in here and you just want to make want to make sure it would come out of here and uh, you can get a whole junker like this off of eBay for 25 bucks, but this is probably the end of this unit. Here's some computer shopper Pentium 3s rev up to 550 megahertz. This computer shopper from 1999. 
That's the old 5L, which is probably going to go into the scrap heap. It hasn't jammed for several years, but finally did. And fooling around trying to pull it out before I did this, end up screwing up the foil piece. 